We'll Be Returning by John Ria. May 29. Thanks so much for sharing your darling cottage in the woods. The views of the lake are just spectacular, and the cottage is very warm and charming. We loved sitting on the deck in the evening with a glass of claret, watching the ducks and listening to the crickets and frogs. The beds are very comfortable, and the furnishings are nice. We'll definitely be back. Mary and Ted Blackledge, Grand Rapids, Michigan. June 11. First time in Wisconsin. So beautiful. Your darling Hobbit house has made our trip here memorable. Everything comfortable and clean. And the lake. I went for a swim, but Abel is squeamish about seaweed. I wore those darling water sandals that you so thoughtfully provided by the back door. I don't even think about weeds, because when I was a girl growing up in Ohio, we always went swimming in lakes. Although I think they're all polluted now. And there were weeds, and we got used to them. But Abel grew up coddled and sun averse, and now has skin like boiled matza. However, your lake is divine. The kitchen is wonderfully equipped. Love the little Canadian geese ceramic tiles behind the stove. Where did you get those? I'll have to email you. Already planning a returning trip. Phage and Abel Berriman, Clayton, Missouri, the Show Me State. June 19. We'll always remember this beautiful little house in the woods where Roland and I first made love. I've never made love with a man, but it was indescribably romantic and thrilling, even though it hurt a little at the beginning. Roland says he's going to leave his wife, but it's difficult to say. They have so much history. I'm hopeful, writing this on the last day of our adventure, bright sunlight on the lake cut into chevrons by the wake of a loon. Thank you for sharing. Our hearts are full. We're going to come back here. Samuel Corso and Roland Jewell. June 25. Spent a great weekend here with hubby and kids. They loved fishing off the pier and eating peanut butter sandwiches on the porch swing. Samantha caught a catfish, but hooked it through the eye, and when we put it back, it floated belly up. The eye came out and it was hard to get off the hook. Too bad, but fun. We'll be returning. Marjo and the Boston Six, the McAllisters. July 18. We like your house and all the trees and the lake, but when we tried to sit outside at night, the mosquitoes were so terrible we had to go inside. I wish somebody had told us about the mosquitoes, or maybe you could have mentioned something on your website. And Henry noticed a chip out of a tile toward the back corner of the bathtub surround. You might want to get that taken care of so there's no water leakage. Then you'll get mold, in which case you have to close down your rental until you could fix it. And as I understand it, mold mitigation, spelling, is quite expensive. I'm not being a ninny, just letting you know a few important things that you might want to know about. Other than that, and the lack of cell phone reception, I thought the house was very acceptable. You have a nice selection of DVDs. Rosalind Curry, Des Moines, Iowa. July 22. Sitting in the dark, writing by candlelight. All around, a million frogs are trilling for mates. Will they all be successful, or will some perform unrequited melodies until the cooling night stills their blood? The forest has dissolved into a black fog of leaves and limbs, barely lit under a moonless sky. It doesn't look like Roland will come. Perhaps there is an explanation, an unpredictable unfolding of events. His wife was taken ill. One of his children broke a toe. A boss demanded weekend hours. These things happen. Thank God I brought the Pinot. No scent of him like wet stone and cedar. No hazel eyes with their archipelago of gold. No hardness pulsing its molten heart. I do love this cabin. You should know that. As I live and breathe, I'll always love this cabin. Samuel Corso. August 6. The snuggliest little place in the world. The porch is peachy. We just had to put on a lot of deet and sat outside well into the night and never had any mosquito problems. All the stars came out. You have so many stars up here in the Midwest. And may I add that we could not find the crack in the bathroom tile that Rosalind Curry, above, mentioned. So I suppose you fixed it, and if you did, kudos to you for prompt service. We'll definitely think about coming back this way again if Toby goes into remission. Dorothy and Tobias Sistrunk, Mayfield, Louisiana. August 19. 
Thank you so kindly for making available this little house in the woods to travelers such as us. We had a good time with the kayaks and playing trivial pursuits. So nice to spend some summer. Very sorry about the septic tank problem. I will assure you that Wilmer will not be doing that again. The Klein family, Flensburg, Germany. September 19. Please forgive me, little sanctuary in the woods. I'm sure within these compact walls is a surfeit of happiness, left by those who have stopped here, smelled your peeled pine, built a fire in your limestone hearth, heard the sun slide into the waters. You deserve such an innocence, but that is why I've come again, to still my heart's unanswered trill to the ringing clarity of your cool waters. I'm going down to the lake now. Forgive me for not returning. Samuel.